Um, I was asking my Google smart speaker today what the weather was going to be like, and it occurred to me a fun thought experiment. What do you think is the most impractical robot servant in your house to replace with an actual human? What do you think? I think mine's got to be my CPAP machine. It's got to be. Do you guys know what a CPAP is? Yeah. I, if you don't know what a CPAP is, some people um, stop breathing during the night because they snore too bad. And if it happens, <laughs> it's the definition of a party. Yeah. If it happens too many times per night, your brain doesn't go into full REM sleep, right? And then you just are tired all the time and you can fall asleep at inconvenient moments. This is what was happening to me. And the appointment to get diagnosed for this is a very weird sleepover in a fake hotel room <laughs> to get diagnosed to receive a machine that basically gives you CPR all night. <laughs> and uh, it's, a weird, it's a weird appointment for everyone, and mine was extra weird, and it was my fault. Um, a sleep technician hooks you up to a bunch of sensors and electrodes and then spends all night on the other side of a glass booth next to a computer to record how many times per night your fat neck tries to choke your throat like a Guy Ritchie villain. <laughs> and he was setting me up with all my electrodes and he was like, uh, Sean, my, my sleep technician's name is Sean. I'll never forget it. He goes, uh, so if you need the bathroom during the night, just say, hey, I need the bathroom, and I'll come around from the booth and give you the quick disconnect from the sensors, and you could go use the bathroom down the hall. And I said, trying to be funny, okay, great, thank you very much, and uh, where do you guys keep the liquor? <laughs> he was like, what liquor? I said, well, you expect your clients to sleep through the night, right? Who can do that without top shelf booze? <laughs> He was not happy. He said, sir, they're not clients, they're patients, and this is a sleep study, not a business lunch from Mad Men. <laughs> right? So I did what I normally do when my humor misfires, I uh, double down. <laughs> I said, well, do you need me to run out and get <laughs> get some liquor. I probably have some in my car. Uh, and then he said something very weird and unexpected. He said, sir, are you, are you awake right now? Here's, here's, here's what had happened. I opened my eyes, which I hadn't realized were closed. I had nodded off while he was telling me about the bathroom. And I had dreamt the rest of the conversation, including his clever comeback about Mad Men. <laughs> so I said, did I just fall asleep while you were talking to me? And Sean started laughing. He was like, yeah, dude, you fell asleep while I was telling you about the bathroom and then you started mumbling about liquor. <laughs> so, long story short, I was issued a CPAP machine. <laughs>